first we got to talk about weather. Still the talk of the town, folks in Clarksville waking up mm -hmm. to some severe weather. And yeah, there's some uh, high waters up that way on the Cumberland River. Here's video right now that we shot about an hour or so ago in downtown Clarksville. This is the Cumberland River in Clarksville right now. I'll note the water is high, but here's the deal. Like the river in downtown Nashville, yes, it is high, but it's below flood stage. You've got some of those stages like the river stage in downtown Nashville that sometimes when the river gets high may get underwater. Right now, about a half hour ago, the river stage for downtown Clarksville was 39 feet. Flood stage is 46 feet. It's expected to crest just under that here in the next day or so. Meanwhile, downtown Nashville, flood stage is 40 feet. Right now, the downtown river in Nashville is right at the four, uh, 29. Uh, foot mark. Let's show you what is happening on radar. The good news is the heaviest of the rain is out of here. You see it's more concentrated right now back over our eastern counties as we uh, start the day. We still have some scattered showers that we're going to have to deal with for the next little bit until we get a cold front across the area. So look at those showers right now. You kind of see a sharp drop off as you get back over to Jackson and Dyersburg. Look at the temperatures right now in Nashville. It is 58. And kind of pick out the front Murray 48 right now Dyersburg Jackson right around 50 degrees. Notice the winds and you can see the winds right now in our area in the mid state of south wind behind the front a good west wind. Those winds are gusting at 30 35 miles per hour. So shallow rooted trees in a saturated ground could uh, could mean one or two could be knocked over later today. So that is something to be mindful of uh, during the afternoon. Here is a look at the flood map for us right now. For most of you, the flood watch has been dropped. It's still out for northern middle Tennessee for the next couple of hours, but rain chances gradually dropping off this afternoon as colder air returns to the mid south.